Hello and welcome back to Ice and Fire Season 2! As you can see, if we look around, some things seem to have changed in the base, and that is because they have. So, we recently did a live stream where, if you remember in the last episode, if you haven't watched the last episode, by the way, I highly recommend that you do, um, in that episode we went down mining and we found a enorm an enormous cave. An enormous? You get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> we found a huge cave and in that live stream we did recently at the time of this recording we uh, we we got a lot of the resources there we didn't even get all of it but we got a lot of it um, and when we returned back we reorganized the inventory stuff so now we have some more um, organized chests here and I have just been smelting some stone here to make these blast furnaces so we have four of each beautiful now uh one of the things i really want to do today if possible is yes beautiful um so as you can see things are nicely organized here so we have stone stuff we have wood stuff we have um processed materials and things such as ingots and such and then down here we have all the ores these are everything here is from that now if you catched it <laughs> We have 15 diamonds. We found 15 diamonds down in the mines. And we also got a diamond dust from, I believe, a gravel gravel ore. So we have 16 diamonds in total. That is absolutely wonderful. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 item frames. I kind of hate using the leather for this. Because the leather is the leather. And... Not super easy to come by, and I completely forgot how to make an item frame. You know what? You got, there we go. <laughs> Seven. Don't want to make more than I have to. There we go. So now I can just place uh, there. I can place some item frames on these chests, and I can put on these item frames, something from each chest to identify what on earth is in here. Yeah, that's good, I think. And then I guess we should make... I guess we should make one for the food box as well, which, you know what, let's, uh, well, I don't even have enough acacia wood. Don't have enough acacia wood to make a full food chest. Why? There's two different acacia chests you can get, and I don't... Uh... Well, it still works, it just doesn't look as good, but you know what, I, I guess it'll just have to do. Yeah, I definitely have to replace that as soon as possible, because that is terrible. <laughs> but anyways, guys, today we will be doing something... Just check for creepers. That's scary. We will be... Well, first off, I think we need to take down the tree and plant some more. We will not be doing anything with the... Actually, we can, we can finish up the windmill. Let's finish up the windmill real quick, because I do now have... Uh, let's get that, and I had a bunch of bone blocks. There. 37 bone blocks. So I can now get a ton of this stuff over here. Like, I can just harvest this for quite a while. Gonna use up all this bone meal. I'll be back with you once I have everything from this harvest. All right, I now have over three stacks of nice industrial herb fiber. I'm also gonna go ahead and get these sweet, sweet potatoes, this corn as well. All right, so I need one of this, one of these for each. So I need like three more of these, I think. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is six per, so I need six, 12, 18. Okay, I think hopefully we'll be able to have enough. Hopefully I haven't miscalculated or anything like that. So let us do that. So that is three windmill sails. Am I missing three? Yes, we gotta fill the whole thing out. Nice. I'm very happy I took those. Ow, took those bo- Ow, took those bones. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three. And that should be all of the sails. 
Look at that. That is going to generate us a good amount of power when we start using it, hopefully. And we can even place more here and here, but I don't know how well that's going to look. Now, something else that we actually also found down in the mines is name tag. So now we can finally name the horse because I keep forgetting the horse name. <laughs> And it is super annoying, so I'm gonna give these guys some iron and also some coal. Yep, good enough. And we're gonna smelt the iron, we're gonna make an anvil, and then we will name the horse. Because I'm tired of not being able to remember the horse name. So that is what we are gonna do next. Alright, iron has been smelted, we shall get three blocks of iron. And then, no, <laughs> and then we will make the anvil. Just need to remember, do I already have one? I don't, okay, good. Uh, we shall place the anvil right here, not the best place, but it will have to do for now. And we shall now put in the name tag and Arox. Here you go, Arox. Nice. All right, we have two other things on the agenda, actually three. One, I need wood, and I need wood badly. So I'm gonna chop down this tree and we're gonna replant it. Uh, yeah, that, that's what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna break this. Hopefully it's gonna take down the whole tree. Come on. Yeah, it actually did. Awesome. All right, perfect. This ax is actually pretty cool. It takes a long time and it actually takes not just one durability, but it takes one durability per wood chunk, so that's actually very nice. I'm gonna then take some saplings. All right, this plain sapling is what we had previously, so how about we place a... this. I wanna place that, but then I also wanna place that. So we have two trees growing, how about that? Uh, do not wanna waste any of the wood though, so give me the wood. <laughs> uh, that's just a sapling. All right, we're good. Now here is what we need to do. So. I do not have a diamond pickaxe, but I want to go to the nether because I want to see what it is, how it is down there, and also there are things that we need from the nether. Now, this thurium stuff is very much like diamond stuff, and I'm hoping that this can actually break obsidian. So we're gonna go, we're actually gonna jump on arrows, and we're gonna go over, we're gonna ride over to the city, the city. <laughs> the village. Get back on. We're gonna ride over to the village over here where we have the uh, ruined portal. And then we're gonna try and see if we can get the obsidian. If we can, we'll get enough obsidian oral to make another portal and also to make an enchanting station. Because if I can get an enchanting station, I will definitely want to enchant my armor because it is actually pretty good and I have 30 levels. So I might as well enchant at least some of it. Now this obsidian won't be enough, I don't think, at all. It actually looks like we can get it. It breaks pretty fast too. It actually breaks very fast. That's actually very nice. So I'm gonna take all of this. Don't know how much obsidian we're actually gonna get from this. Probably not a whole lot from the looks of things. Um, Oh wow, please tell me there's more than this. Okay, I am um, a bit disappointed, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, I um, guess we can take this block of gold now, that's good. Okay, um, the Thurian pickaxe is excellent, it is very good. We don't even have enough obsidian here to make an enchanting table. Wow. Um, I need to find a lava pit, apparently, then. I left a pillar, by the way, over there. That's where the cave entrance is, so I can find it. I just really don't want to go all the way down there, get lost, having to try and get back out again. Looks like I will have to go back into the caves, which I'm not happy about. But we will have to do it, because I need the obsidian. So to the cave entrance we go. <laughs> all right, here we are. Maybe I can map my way around better this time. Because, like, getting out of here was actually not... I mean, I got out eventually, but, like... Yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe I don't have to go as deep down as I thought I did. Nope. 
Okay, this... <laughs> this will do the trick. Alright, good. That should be good. Alright, um... I'm gonna get this obsidian then. Alright, I have gotten 14 pieces. That is pretty good. 4 for an enchantment table and 10 for a portal. Now I just gotta get out of here. And yep, alright. That was actually, okay, that was easier. I I didn't know that it was this close to the surface, okay? <laughs> I thought I had to go way down to like the bedrock level. Erox, get back here. Stop wondering now. We will make a better pasture for Erox in the future. Maybe in the next episode or something. If they really want to make it green, maybe put a tree here, put a spring over there running through this pasture right here and then down into that, maybe something like that. That sounds like a plan. But anyways, we got the obsidian. Let's just convert that, put you in there, put in the saplings, try obsidian, and I'm gonna put the thurian pickets in there because I don't want to use it as my main one just yet. All right, I am really, really happy that we have one piece of leather left because that is what I need to be able to make the enchantment table. I don't think we will be making it doing any enchanting today because I really want to have a full enchantment table, um, like a full level one, but we can carve out the area for it in the base. What am I looking for? Diamonds. All right, two diamonds, four obsidian and one book. Boom. Now we need a place for it and Need to take down this stuff here. I think I'm gonna do something like I did over there. I hate having torches on the ground, but I just don't. Oh wow, six. <laughs> I just don't want any casualties. One, two, three, four. So this would be the center. So if I place it here, we could actually have bookshelves here. Uh, we cannot have bookshelves there, but we can have bookshelves here and then on the side. And we can have that, we just gotta be a little bit creative. Actually, I can just put it out, uh, that's too far out though. But then I can have all the bookshelves I need around it. Uh, I'm gonna put it in for now. We can always move it. I don't have the bookshelves right now, so let's not worry about it. But hey, now we have it, we can make basic enchantments, which we might wanna do. We might wanna just do basic enchantments because getting a lot of leathers is probably gonna take quite a collection. Anyway, I wanna... Gonna check for creepers first. I wanna place this uh, another portal. I don't know where to do it. I don't want it in the base because that sound, no, 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 no. Kinda wanna maybe down here, maybe if we dig this down a little bit. Like have it here, but a bit down from everything else. Like if I say I wanna place the portal here, right? Like so, three, one, two, three, do something like that. Then I can try and dig a somewhat of a circle around it. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, something like that. Now what I could do is actually go and get a bunch of leather rack, place it around here and make it spread up a little bit. Maybe put some magma in and I think that could call it good for now. Nothing too big but just something to make it look a little bit cooler. So I have magma blocks, I just need more netherrack. So actually, let's go ahead and uh, get that from the village as well. Eric, we're leaving home again. Ooh, that tree's grown, it looks nice. All right, now I just gotta get like maybe a stack, two stacks of this stuff. This is gonna be a lot. Actually, I'm getting it rather quickly, so that's good. One day maybe we'll be back and fixing up this hole completely for these guys so they don't fall down and die in it. And eventually we probably should do something with these villagers, especially if we could get a librarian and get mending. That was something that was bugging me in season one because I didn't have it. And uh, mending is a huge, huge deal. Anyways, with that said, I think we have enough. Erex, where on earth are you? Come back here. All right, so now I just need to basically replace all of these first off so I can see where the outline is so I don't forget. And then I gotta change all of the sand right here into netherrack. Something like this. 
not perfect, nothing special, nothing that really, I guess, make me make sense. <laughs> but I like it. I think I like it. Maybe change this as well. Like, yeah, like that. Maybe do that so it looks a little bit better. That remains sand. Now all I want to do is add some magma blocks into this mix. Just random magma blocks here and there. I think that looks a little bit better. Again, we can always come back and change more about it. Add more details, remove details, whatever. But for now, I think this is good. I can always add more. Again, I really want to terraform this whole place. Um, add like a bunch of grass and... Ow. You know what? That works there. <laughs> <laughs> added like a bunch of grass and whatnot so eventually this will be I think made into something bigger as well make a flint steel and I guess we're ready I don't have any fire resistance potions or anything my spawn is set so if we die oh wait gotta fix those cannot leave those cannot leave those uh, what am I gonna do emergency sandstone building in progress right uh, this is not going to be the prettiest construction ever. <laughs> kind of like it. I kind I kind of like this, you know. It that actually kind of fits in. All right. What do you think? I personally actually really like this. Maybe if I add a slab here. I don't know, maybe add a slab here and here and here. I don't know, but so far I'm going to leave it here because I think I like this. I think I like this. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. Anyway, let us activate the portal. Kaboom. Huh? Whoa, what's going on? I forgot I had this mod installed. I forgot I actually had this mod installed. It makes it so that you can actually look through the portal into the nether dimension and actually see on the other side. That's epic! Oh, and I can see on the other side of the... Oh, wow, that's not a that's not a safe portal. <laughs> that's not a safe portal at all. So if we go through... I just drop down here, and I can look into the overworld. Look at that. It does lower my FPS, my frame rate. Oh, no. Hi. Hi. Yeah, goodbye. Thank you. But that's cool. That's actually so cool. Now, how do I get back up to it? My frame rate doesn't like it. I mean, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. What is this? Nether coal ore. Nether redstone ore. Nether copper ore. What's that? That's creepy. I don't want to look at that. That's really awesome. That is actually really, really cool. Um, I'm going to put some, tor some torches on this. Like so. I forgot I had that mod installed. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take some screenshots of that. There we go. And well, here we are in the nether. I don't know if we have any new biomes or anything like that. I mean, things do look different and oh my, there's a lot of ores here. Maybe a bit too many. <laughs> because we have like, you nether uranium? Okay, maybe, maybe. Oh my, this is not a mining dimension. Come on now. <laughs> maybe I need to disable... Uh, Never ores from generating. Hello. Ooh, I said. Oh wow. Okay, that's doesn't sound look friendly. What is that fun? Oh, oh, hi. Oh, hi. Um, hmm, <laughs> Hello. Oh no. Oh no. This is not. This is not ideal. Okay, so even though there are the, all these ores. You actually get in trouble for breaking them. Okay, that's an issue. What happens if I go into the overworld real quick? Yeah, go through. Will they follow me through? That's the question. No. Okay. <laughs> what are these used for? Oh, wait, are these from? No. Hold up. Ah, they act as the same one from Ice and Fire. That's cool. And now they're no longer angry at me. Awesome. <laughs> oh wow all right we're gonna ignore all the ores for now and just see if we can maybe spot a fortress goodbye because if we can spot a fortress and that would not be 
bad at all. Good thing is, even if I... Oh, they are still angry at me. Okay, I cannot punch through though. So that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh no, have I just... Okay, this is interesting now. Hmm. I'm just gonna do this and okay, this is bad. This is this is actually bad. This is, this is very bad. Um, hmm. hey fellas, how are you doing? I need to take care of all of you. I'm probably gonna come in from behind in a split second here. Oh, actually not. Okay, cool. All right, let's take care of. Now I wanna know: Do we have a fortress nearby? Because if we do. I could get lace rods if we have one nearby, but it doesn't look like we do. Okay, yeah, these ores are ridiculous. This basically just removes the entire concept of mining. <laughs> so in the next episode, I will update you on what I have changed. And I'll show you as well, because I'll have to reset the nether for that one. But we will just walk around and explore a little bit. We have the warped forest zone. One thing that I do want to get is to get some glowstone. It can act as pretty good lighting. And right now I need good lighting. Oh, piglins, I forgot about you. I forgot about you piglins. <laughs> hello. Right, let's get some glowstone. Good light source and, oh wow, this, this pack will break it very quickly. That's good. All right, I am running a little bit low on food as well, so we can't stay in here for long. Okay, but you're trying to hit me though. Ow! Okay, you don't hurt much. But, whoa! Oh, hi. Yeah, I forgot about you. <laughs> well, I can actually get leather from them, so that's good. Okay, so that's good. I can hunt those guys for leather. What's that? That's like an obsidian pillar. Wait, what's that? Hold up. Okay, that was a pretty dangerous fight. What are these obsidian pillars? They look cool. Uh, can I get down there without breaking too much? Ow, that hurt. What was that? Was that a giant mosquito? Was that a giant mos... Why am I going towards it? Duh, what's that? Oh, no, no, no. No, what is that? What is that? Nope, nope, mm -mm. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. What? What is, what is... Ah, that other one. What? Okay, no, 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 no. Nope, this is creep. This is so creepy. Get me out, 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 get me out. Get me out. No, no, no. I don't... No, 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 no. No, nope, nope. Nope. Ah, get away, 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 get away. <laughs> Eventually you'll die. Eventually you'll die. No. Just no. Ah, uh, no. What? Huh? Oh. Please tell me the other one didn't follow me. Okay, now we're gonna- no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Not going to those again. Not going to see those again. Nope, not happening. Nope, 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 nope. Pool of city and pillars. Alright, cool. That, that's all I wanted to see. Alright, where's, where's the portal? Where, where's home? Where's home? No, no. This has been too much. Then they spat at me too? No, I'm not- no. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Ugh. All right, my final piece of food, which is a clear indication that we need to run for our lives and um, bail into what is the portal to home. But apparently it's nighttime. It's good, though. It's all good. I love how smooth it is, so you can just jump through. Right. Um, that was absolutely terrifying. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly have out some holes here where I can place down some some glowstone and I'll place it down and in the next episode we'll try and get some carpet to put over them because they give off off a lot of light which is really good I just want it to look a little bit prettier so yeah that's what we'll do maybe we can get rid of some of these torches as well by placing them in the corners and whatnot All right guys I'm gonna call this episode here because that was no <laughs> Now, if it's not clear, this, as you can tell, probably 
this mod pack is still in development. So what will happen now, guys, is I'm going to end this episode here, and then for the next episode, I will have updated the pack, gotta fix all the stuff in the nether, and I'll show you then the new nether. How about that? Um, but yeah, that, that was terrifying. I can probably tell you, though, that those mosquitoes, they're not gonna be gone. <laughs> Crisis Forest is probably already my least favorite biome. It just got to the way bottom in the series. But anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. We got a bunch of smaller things done and we did get the nether portal up and running. Um, which is really, really good. And we now have access to the nether. Um, I just want to tweak a few things because, yeah. As you saw, that was a lot of force. And by the way, if you have any suggestions to the mod pack, be sure to let me know down in the comments below as well, because I might take it into consideration. So uh, if, you have any, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But anyways, with that said, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.